Hi everyone and welcome back to the ELF channel. This is another look that was voted by you on our Facebook page. Uh, the details are in the information box and I've created this purple smoky eye look today using two palettes. I have used again the beautiful sparkle eye edition and also the lip edition. Yeah, I've taken this sort of white shimmery one and popped it all over the lid. You really need a tiny, tiny bit because it's quite oily, but what it will do is it'll grab the eyeshadow, make it more vibrant and stop it creasing. Bottom liner. And I'm making it a bit thicker than I normally would because this is a bit of an evening look. So I'm making it much thicker. And I'm also going to do the waterline, top and bottom. Okay, and then up in between the lashes. And all the way in. So I've lined the top line. And then gonna go on top of the lash line and just stroke it in. Just work that cream eyeshadow. And on that side, you can see it's creased already. I don't think it's a creaseless one. I wouldn't use it on its own. So there we go, I'm lining everything. Ah, uh, this crayon is just really sort of nice and smudgy. You wouldn't be able to do it with a harder pencil. It just wouldn't want it. There we go. It's looking kind of smoky already, actually. Now I'm going to use the brushes that come in the kit. We're going to start with our highlight colour. You can use any colour along the top line basically from here. Um, my favourite is this one, but we're going to go a little bit lighter and mix these two. I'm just going to take the little brush that comes with it. So I'm mixing a lilac with a brown because otherwise it will be a bit too cool. You can see just under the brow. Don't need very much just gently dab it on because there's quite a lot of glitter there will be a lot of fluffy glitter flying around if you just sweep it straight on like this so kind of press and dab it on like this now I'm going to take that lilac and a bit of brown pop that on the inner corner like this you can instantly see that's opened up the eye vibrant purple all over the eyelid. Now the trick to not getting loads of fallout is tapping the brush really well and just pressing it onto the eyelid really gently. Just take your time with this. And also we want a, a nice sort of vibrant colour. We don't want it to look too patchy. And I'm just going to blend those two together quite carefully. It's a very bluey purple this. Think Cadbury's chocolate, and we'll have it. So just play, pay close attention so that it's not patchy. And I'm just taking it up to the crease and over the sort of the, the ball of the eye. Same on the other side. And that cream shadow I placed underneath is sort of locking that down. But you could just use a primer if you had one to hand. But you do get one in this kit, so it's quite useful. The black. So they're both on the bottom line, the purple and the black. And this is a really lovely sparkly black. It is very soft. So be careful when you're using this. And I'm just going to dab it gently on the outer corner and up into the crease. And it is very, very soft and highly pigmented, which is really good. You don't have to use very much, but you do have to be a bit careful with it. Now you can use this brush if you want to. Um, I'm just going to place a little bit of that black 
the lower lash line just to smoke it out even more like this and I'm going to switch to a nice clean blender brush and this is the C brush which just makes everything so much quicker and I'm just going to use motions like this to blend all those colours together. Now such is life with a smoky eye that there will always be fallout and smudges that you don't really want and a quick way of dealing with that without having to take off bits of makeup is I'm going to take a liquid highlighter and concealer. This is um, the under eye concealer. I've just soaked cotton wool bud in it and now I'm going to use that to erase any bits I don't want and just neaten that up. So you're doing two things at once, you're kind of concealing or more importantly not removing your concealer just topping it up and taking away any messy bits that you don't want. Just take a tiny bit of the purple just to even out the eyes and I'm just going to blend that into the black. It just sort of adds to that sort of lovely smoky look continues I've to curl plucked them my lashes and curled them already and I'm just going to apply some mascara this is the minimal mascara again it's fast becoming my favourite really because it's so black it's great and it gives me lovely full long lashes which are well separated I'm not going to use any blushes today I'm just going to use a bit of warm bronzer I want to keep it quite neutral but a bit shimmery. So I've got the, uh, I think this is the warm bronzer, yes it's the warm bronzer. I've got my powder brush here and I'm just going to swirl it in. I just want a bit of colour and a bit of shimmer over the cheeks. Mm. Nothing much more than that. Just to add a little bit of colour and dimension. Because we'll assume that this is not a day look we're going for, so you can get away with using bronzer on various parts of the face. This is the lip palette, uh, so it's the Beauty Encyclopedia of the Lip Edition. And here we have 12 lovely lipsticks and two glosses. This is a really nice brush, it's quite sort of thick, very nicely tapered. It's quite a big brush. Now, if you're going for a fairly nude lip, you want to pick anything from the top line, anything that's quite light, like this. And these are fairly pigmented, so I'm going to pick one that's kind of bluey toned. So I think I'm going to go with... Mm, second one in. So here we go, and it's the second one in. They probably all look the same on camera. But they are very different. And I've picked this because it's kind of a bluey pink. Quite shocking. But I quite like it, it's quite girly and fun and just picks out that purple without overpowering. You, you probably wouldn't want to wear anything sort of orangey on the lips with this because this is a very cool look. So orange would just throw it off a bit. There we go. That's a very nice lipstick very creamy. Even these nude colours, you can see they're quite well pigmented even on my lips which are dark. They kind of, they sort of slick on as well. Very moisturising. I really like that. So that is my girly purple going out smoky eye look. I hope you like it. Bye.